Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about and showing you my top picks for my favorite fall lip colors. So these colors are what I think are best suited to the fall season and really are just perfect to get you into those fall vibes and cozy autumnal feelings. So if you'd like to see all my picks for the perfect fall lips, just keep on watching. Just starting with Lisa Eldridge's Blush Lightly because I already have this on my lips from filming another video. This I think is an excellent color for fall and I'm going to do Velvet Blush next. So Blush Lightly is the lighter version of Velvet Blush for people who just wanted something a little bit less intense than Velvet Blush but with the same tones. And I think these tones are perfect for fall because there's that nice balance of cool and warm. I think it leans slightly more toward cool, but it's really, I still consider it more of a neutral shade. And it just has that beautiful sort of purpliness or mauve tones to it. There's also a little bit of pink and red and really blush tones in this shade but it's toned down enough to make it really appropriate for fall. So this is Velvet Blush Lightly from Lisa Eldridge, and next I'm going to show you Velvet Blush, just so you can compare. And here is Velvet Blush. So you can see it's the same tones going on, but this is a deeper and I would say more dramatic version. So if you prefer a darker lipstick with these tones, Blush would be the right one to get. And if you wanted just a bit of a lighter, more subdued version, Blush Lightly is great. I personally prefer Blush Lightly. It's just more wearable. I feel a little bit more comfortable in that shade, but I do think that blush is gorgeous as well. So this is Velvet Blush from Lisa Eldridge. Next up is Velvet Decade from Lisa Eldridge. This is obviously a really deep tone and it's kind of a chocolate brown. It has both cool and warm tones in it and it kind of shifts more toward a cool or warm depending on your own skin tone, your own lip color, and also the, the light that you're in. On me it tends to pull a little bit cooler, but I just think it's such a beautiful, dramatic, fun color for fall and I think it's it's a perfect autumnal color. I love the, the mix of the tones in there, and I just think it has a really great impact. So Velvet Decade is my next choice for perfect lipstick for fall. I just have one other Lisa Eldridge one that I'm going to show you, and then I'm just going to mention a few others that I've already shown in very recent videos that I think are also great for fall. So if you wanted to see them, you can go back to the videos where I lip swatched them. I'll link them below. but. Next up, I just wanted to show you Spirited Away because this, I think, is a perfect, it's really perfect for any time of the year, any day, but I think this is a beautiful fall color as well, so I'm now going to show you Spirited Away. So here's Spirited Away. I just think it's a perfect kind of brownish rosy red color but it it's very vibrant still brings a lot of life to the face so it has enough brightness in it that it doesn't kind of deaden the the complexion or make you look washed out at all it really does bring such life and vibrancy but it's still a very wearable everyday kind of color that could go with anything but it has that little bit of an autumnal feel that i think it makes it really perfect for the fall season as well so this is spirited away by lisa eldridge in the luxuriously lucent formula so the other Lisa Eldridge shades that I just wanted to quickly mention that you can see in previous videos of mine that I will link below. One is Velvet Fawn, perfect shade for autumn. It's more of a kind of cool tone nude on me at least. It, it pulls warmer on some people, but for me it's a slightly cool toned neutral. Velvet Muse is the next one. It's kind of like spirited away, but just a little bit more toned down, a little bit less vibrant, but perfect for fall. Velvet Affair is another one that's a beautiful, rich, caramelly, brown, sort of mid-tone shade. And it's, to me, totally unique and just perfect for the fall season. Painterly is another one that is perfect for fall. That's in the Lucent formula as well. And it's kind of like if Spirited Away were made a touch cooler and quite a bit deeper and with more brown in it. That's a stunning shade for fall. Because it's the Lucent formula, it may be a little bit more appealing to some people who don't prefer to wear matte lipsticks. And then the last Lisa Eldridge one I wanted to mention is Velvet Cinnabar, 
or the Cinnabar Gloss. Both are just absolutely incredible. I have nothing like that shade anywhere else in my collection. Unfortunately, it's sold out on Lisa's website right now. She may be working on a restock. I'm not quite clear on that or, or when that might happen, but that's just one to keep in mind, at least if you haven't been able to get your hands on it yet. Velvet Cinnabar is the ultimate autumn burnt orange brownie red shade. It's just stunning. Since I was just talking about Velvet Cinnabar, I wanted to show you this color. This is from M Cosmetics and this is Faded Clementine in their gloss formula. Their glosses are very beautiful and very pigmented as you can probably tell looking at my lips here. And this is sort of, I would consider it in a similar family to Velvet Cinnabar or in the same family because it has that orange. It's a little bit more earthy than something like a really bright orange, which I am going to show you a really bright orange in a moment, but it does have that little bit of brown and kind of a, a, a burnt quality to it. I'd say it's less red than Velvet Cinnabar and certainly not as deep, but it gives you sort of that similar feel and it's a really perfect fall color. So this is Faded Clementine from M Cosmetics. They also have this in their um, sort of more matte formula as well, but this is the gloss version of the color. Next up is that more bright true orange that I mentioned. This is Hermes Orange Boite. I have it in the matte formula, but they also have it in the satin if you prefer that. I don't think it really goes with this look that I have going on with the very cool toned eye, but I still think if you really like oranges and you, you want a true proper orange lipstick, you can't get any better than this one. It's that perfect Hermes orange shade and it's a really fun color. It's a little bit brighter than you might expect sometimes for fall, but I think still really suits the season and fits into the category of perfect fall lip colors. This is Hermes Orange Boite. The next shade I have to show you is in the same formula as the last one I showed you. This is Hermes Rose Tamise, and this is also a matte from Hermes. This came out as part of their most recent collection of three limited edition shades for their fall winter collection. And this to me is the one that is most perfectly suited to the fall season. It's a unique color. I don't have anything else quite like it. And I love how it, it pulls in that purple for sure. It pulls in the cool tones, but there's enough warmth in it for it to, again, not be too deadening to the face. Again, I probably don't have the exact right look for it. I would prefer to have a, a more cool toned blush on, but I think that this is an excellent shade for fall. And if you were looking for something unique and different from everything else that you have, I think that Rose Tummy Say is a perfect option. Now, the last two shades that I wanted to show you are for if you want that fall feeling, but you don't really like deep lips or you don't wanna to make too, too much of an impact with the lip color, but still with that fall feeling. This is the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade Nude Romance. It's in her kissing formula, so it's a satin. It's a beautiful creamy satin. I really like the Charlotte Tilbury satin formula. I think it's, it's beautiful. It's one of my favorite satin formulas. And I just think this shade is great for fall because it's a little bit different. You can see the warmth in it. At least that's how it it's pulls on me. You can also see a little bit of cool tones. Again, I would prefer to have something else going on on the cheeks with this shade, but I just wanted to show you how it looks on the lips and it's very comfortable and sort of more subdued version of a fall lip. So this is Charlotte Tilbury's Nude Romance. Okay, and the last lipstick I wanted to show you is the Chantecaille Lip Veil in the shade Tamarind. This came out in fall 2020 with two other shades, and this one I think is the most perfect fall shade. It's kind of along similar lines to Velvet Cinnabar in a way because it has that brown and a little bit of red in it, although Velvet Cinnabar is much more red, whereas this is much more brown, like I would consider this to be a brown lipstick. But there's something about the formula because it's a more sheer formula. You could, I've built it up all the way, but you could certainly just kind of pat it on or blot it off and you just have a very light layer of this color. I just love the richness and the earthiness to it. It's quite warm toned. And I think it's just a beautiful color that really represents fall and is just perfect for the season. So this is the Chantecaille Lip Veil in Tamarind. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments below or what your favorite fall lip colors are. I'd love to hear about that. 
If you'd like to see more from me and you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I'd really love for you to do so. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.